Hello everyone, welcome to How to Navigate Ferris Connect. When you first sign in to MyFSU, you're going to get a page that looks something like this. Probably not quite the same because as an instructor I have a different view than you do. So somewhere either on MyFSU or Academics and Services, you will see the courses that you are enrolled in that may or may not have a link to Ferris Connect. My courses are, and you'll have a link there. However, the best way I can tell you to get into the system is just come over and click on Ferris Connect. And in doing so, it will take you right to uh, the courses that you have on Ferris Connect. So once you do that, then the Ferris Connect page should open up and look like this, in which case you will see my courses and then, so once you do that, then the Ferris Connect page should open up and look like this, in which case you will see my courses, and then you will see the courses where you are listed and what classes you're in. And for me, it's going to show courses where I'm an instructor, so that's what you're going to see first. So, I'm going to select on a course uh, that I'm going to use to demonstrate how to use Ferris Connect. So I'm going to pick my online course. And once I do that, the screen is going to open up and you are going to see the classroom. And it's going to open up to the main course page. And you'll see main course page here. And you'll know which class you're in because it'll say welcome to, in this case, and it's going to open up to the main course page. And you'll see main course page here. And you'll know which class you're in because it'll say welcome to, in this case, Management 370. And this one is for my online version course. Over here on the left side is your navigation buttons. So you're going to see a button that brings you back to this page no matter where you're at. You're going to see one that says student information page, assignment page, class discussion, integrity classes, chapter PowerPoints, it's also going to show you the class team, so the other teams in your class or your team yourself, you can click here and it will take you to your uh, team page. Any announcements, here you can view the grades that you have so far in the course, a calendar which should show you everything that is due. Uh, if it isn't quite done yet, Please know that my student helper is setting those up now. And when you go to the course calendar, it will show you all the assignments that are due for this class. And then to conduct email, uh, either to uh, another student or to um, a team, if you will. And then down here is student help, FSU support, and tools. So let's start from the beginning. And we're going to go to uh, what's called the student information page. And you'll just click on this button and it will load a page and it will tell you information for instance uh, if there's a page for you to register and in this particular class I'm using McGraw-Hill still connect and this explains how to go about registering for the class. You'll find the syllabus and schedule here so if you click on this folder it's going to come up with a couple of files, which is going to show you the syllabus for the class. Click on there. It's a Word document. It should open. And the schedule for the class that lets you know what we're going to do on each day and when things are due. So I recommend that you download this and save it to your hard drive or a jump drive so that you will be able to know what we're doing each day and how to prepare yourself for it. Or if you're sick and miss a day, you'll know what we're covering. And it also lets you know what assignments are due every day. And then here's a little section on how to get an A in this class. Now to go back to student information page, you just click student information page again, and it brings you back here. There is a presentation guide <clears throat> that lets you know what you have to do for any presentations that we do in class. Uh, here's a folder on world information. Here's something that I think you should look at. It's called a sample PowerPoint guide. Tells you how to make a PowerPoint presentation for class. 
uh, in the proper format so that you get a good grade or the best grade you can on it. Some helpful quality tools and some tips here on getting ready to land your first job. So now I'm going to click back here to the main course page and you can see it brings us right back to the main page again. On this button, oops, let me go up here, assignment page, click on that and each week a folder will open up letting you know what we're doing for the week and what's due each week. Now you'll see that for me it says it's not available and it gives a date that it will be available. So this means you aren't seeing this yet. When you come in in week one, you're going to see week one folder only. The rest of the folders are hidden from view. And they'll open up at the prescribed dates that start that week. So if you click right here on week one, you'll see that there's a week one introduction with instructions on what's going to happen. So if you click right here on week one, you'll see that there's a week one introduction with instructions on what's going to happen, a supplement when needed. Uh, anytime you see this ruler and pencil, that's an assignment you have to do. When you see this, it's a homework assignment you have to do. And here's a quiz that you have to do in this particular class. So you can you can tell the difference between your assignments by looking at that. And when you click on it, it will open up to a spot where you can submit your document. So when you go to the assignment page every week, it will let you know what we're doing that week. Now, class discussion assignment. We're going to click this here, and you'll see what's called the discussion board. We will have, uh, in some cases, regularly every week, and in some cases, maybe only a couple every two or three weeks, a discussion to where it's an ethical or a business dilemma that you are to read, and then you're going to give your input and information on what you think is the best resolution. So, for instance, here, uh, this particular class has to read Why Productivity Matters, and they answer the three questions in a total minimum of 300 words. And then when they click on this, there's going to be a forum, and it tells you um, how to uh, respond. So if I click on that right now, you'll see there's nobody here yet. And you will post by clicking on Create Thread. And when you do that, it'll open up a spot for you to put in your information. So every time that we have a class discussion, that one will be visible, none of the other ones. You'll click on it, put in your information uh, before the due date, and then you have to read two other students' posts and reply to them. And I'm going to tell you right now, you need to reply in a substantive message saying uh, why you agree, why you disagree, or your insight into what they said. You cannot just post I agree with you or good post because that will not get you any points. You need to have a minimum of three sentences, okay? So this is going to be each so this is going to be each week where you or each time that we have a class discussion, you'll see it on your schedule. This is where you will come by clicking on class discussion assignments. All right, let's go back to the main page main course page. All right, so now you're back here. If there is integrity lecture, you will click on this button. I'm not going to do it now, but it's the lecture like what you're listening to right now. However, uh, I found that integrity classes are very difficult for you to download, and so I'm going to give you a YouTube link to where you can go right to YouTube and watch it, stop it, pause it, rewind it, back it up, everything that you want to do. It's a lot easier for you to watch. So I'm going to post all those lectures, not only Integrity, but also in YouTube, and I recommend you do the YouTube. After we get through with the chapter, the chapter PowerPoints with all the information will be posted in here. So you just click on this, and it will take you. You'll see the PowerPoints listed there. You open them up, save them, whatever you want to do with them. 
uh, or review the information. So you don't have to really take notes a lot in my class because the main points are going to be there for you. Now, let's take a look at class teams. If you go here, you will see whatever team you're on. And then if you click on it, you're going to see that there are members in there. And you have different tools that you can use. You can send an email, which only goes to your team members. You can have a group wiki. You can have group tasks where the uh, team manager, which is called the operations manager, can post tasks or things that he wants people to do or tasks that are assigned to certain people. There's a journal there if you want to keep track of what you're doing. I recommend that everybody build their PowerPoint sections and then put them in here in the group team uh, room so that you don't lose them and you got them and everybody can see them. And I would definitely recommend that once the final presentation is done before you submit it, post a copy here for everybody so that they can review it and know that everything is correct before they come in to present in class. So there is what's called a file exchange that you can also use to do that. You have your own discussion board just for the group and you also have a very cool tool called collaboration. Now what happens is you go here to the team chat room, click on that, and it's going to give you the chat room. You may have to load a Java and you can see here where it says that you need to download the Java so click on here and it will put the Java plugin into your system for you so that you as a team can use this discussion board. Once you download the Java, now you're going to get the Blackboard chat room. And this is a pretty cool tool because you'll see who all is there. You can write your messages like, hi everyone, let's discuss the work to be done for this week and then you just hit enter well maybe you have to hit send I'm the only one in here so that may be the problem but anyway you compose your message there it'll show up here you can make all your notes and then once you do that you will actually be able to print out um, what you all discussed so I recommend using this for group work simply because it's a great tool where you guys can meet outside of the classroom and jump in there and um, collaborate. You can all be sitting around at home in your pajamas 10 o'clock on a Thursday night and discuss everything that you want to. Or you can have a discussion board so that you can leave messages for each other because some people work. So again, this is a great tool to use. All right, back to the main course page. Now, here's a course calendar, and you will click on there, and it'll open up to a calendar. I'll, I do that, but you're going to see all six of my classes right now, and it would be confusing for you. But that's where you'll find that. If there's any announcements for the class, I generally send announcements out, and they come out in an email to you. But if you want to check and see if there's anything there that you need to know, it's going to show up right here in the announcement section. The Ferris email system is pretty unique. You can send a message to everybody in the course. You can send a message to every team in the course. There are no teacher assistants. You can send it to all the students. You can send it to all the instructors, which is just me. I recommend you contact me through the email I provided you, which is frank at ferrisfa.com. You can select a single user, so by clicking on there, what happens is you can go down in here and look for a particular student, click on their name, put it over here, maybe you want to send it to a couple, fill out your message, say hello, test, whatever, da da da, hi, how you doing, wanted to know what you're doing about this problem in the class, da da da, and then you hit submit, and it will go directly to those folks. Now, you can also select the group. So if you want to send a message to another team, 
you just click that team and their name number and put it in over here and say, hi, team three, how are you doing? We want to know what your plans are for your upcoming build or whatever. And again, you just go down here and click submit and away it goes. So the email section here is really good for you. It sends it to the Ferris email system. And again, I wouldn't recommend sending me an email unless you want to from here, unless you want to copy me an email you're sending to another student or another team. Uh, otherwise, it wouldn't include me. All right. So back to the main course page again. So you can see that everything you need to do is right here. You know where your assignments are going to be, stuff that's going to help you with the classes here, the class discussion, the PowerPoints when we're all done with the chapter, who the teams are, the announcements. You'll be able to click here and find out what your grade is on every assignment. And you'll always know where you stand with me. It may take almost a week uh, before the grades get in, but you'll always know what your grade is for the assignment plus how you're doing week and, and course to date. So six weeks in, you'll know whether you've got to be an A and hopefully not a C. You'll know always where you stand with me. So that's it. That should help you get an idea on how to navigate. If you have any problems or questions, let me know. However, there is one thing I'm going to suggest that you do. I'm sorry, I had an interruption there. I'm sorry, I had an interruption there. Hope I'm not repeating myself. The one thing that you should do uh, is go to, when you get on Affairs Connect, if it opens up in My Courses, click on the My Blackboard. The reason why is over here is a button called Test Your Browser. I really recommend you do that because if you're missing a Java or if you have a pop-up blocker or you have anything that's going to cause you a problem with this course, it's going to show up and tell you right here. So I'm going to run that real quick and we'll see what happens. And as you can see, it comes up and it says that I have all the right components. It went through and tested my computer that quickly. And it tells me that I don't have these things available, uh, which I might need. So I recommend you do this just to make sure that your system is working well. Okay, that's it. That's how to navigate. If you're in more than one of my courses, you're going to see uh, one of these other courses also as well. It's the same format in every course I teach. So no matter which course you take with me, now or in the future, I use Ferris Connect and you've just learned how to navigate. Any questions, drop me an email. Have a great day.